It is the best of 2023 today, everybody, and I am excited to share with you my top 10 greatest choices, greatest investments for the year in hopes that you will really consider utilizing these programs, these people, these incredible activities that can help you mainstream your processes, your vision, your marketing, your invoicing, everything. I'm so excited to share all of this with you. So ready or not, here we go because it's about to be a new year and you need some new ideas, baby. Welcome teacher to the Let Your Light Shine podcast. If you're searching for the freedom and permission to design the life you love as a teacher, you're in the right place. I'm on a mission to help teachers just like you build their own dream school or homeschooling business. In this present day, the world needs you, teacher friend, to step out in faith and give students an education they love and so deserve. In this podcast, I will teach you how to start a fulfilling and profitable homeschooling business that lights you up. I'm Mackenzie Oliver, former elementary teacher and instructional coach, gone homeschool teacher and business builder. I'm here to empower you to step outside the classroom and choose the experiences, the curriculum, and all the moments that put a smile on your face and your students. Does it seem like a dream? Well, it did to me until God opened the doors and made it reality. Together, we are breaking through fears and moving the crowd. So get out your notebook, sharpen your pencil. It's time to get your teach on. Depending on when you are listening to this, I hope that you've had an incredible Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, wherever you are, whatever you celebrate. I hope that you've had an incredible time this winter season, and I hope that you have a fantastic new year because we have a lot of things that we're doing together next year. You don't even know about it yet. So just go ahead. And although you are making plans on your calendar, just at the top of every month, just put teacher, let your light shine, teacher, let your light shine, teacher, let your light shine, because there are going to be some really great happenings in our community here to serve you for the upcoming year. Now, no matter if you're listening to this when the new year starts, no matter if you're listening to this a year later, I just want to tell you, these are the top 10 resources, programs, activities that I did this year, along with my team, along with my husband, in order to streamline information, grow our school, just be happier, more flexible, and so much more organized. Yes. Oh, I love that. In no particular order. So you need to stay here till the very end, my friends, because this is in no particular order. They are all of great, great, great importance. They will literally save you so much time, save you so much money, save you so much headache, and just help you to fulfill the vision, help you to move forward. Number one, number one, my friends, is a project management system. I use MeisterTask. It is absolutely incredible, not just for me to keep myself organized, It is very imperative that I utilize this with my teachers, that I utilize this with my husband, that I utilize this with my admin assistant, that I use it with my digital manager for Teacher Light Your Light Chime. It's just so good. I actually bought a course on it and I feel very confident about using it. I used it, I purchased purchased it back in April and from April until August, I was by myself marketing, enrolling, growing our school double. I can't say I did it all alone, of course, but I'm saying that I didn't have an admin assistant at that time. I had my husband. We moved locations. We moved the school out of our house. We moved our school to a new location. I was hiring staff. I was enrolling more students. I was marketing all by myself. It was a lot. It was, I wouldn't recommend that people do that. Okay. But I will tell you that the reason why I was able to get the results, even though it was a lot of, a lot of headache, a lot of pain, I'm not going to lie, trying to do it on your own, ma'am. I don't know what it is about us trying to do it on our own, but it doesn't feel very good. It really doesn't. I'm not trying to get a badge of honor here. I think it just happened so quickly that I just felt I better hurry up and keep swimming. I don't have time to turn around. And the truth of the matter is I had never grown and scaled a micro school to this level before and so quickly and so vastly, not only the students, but the, the staff and the location. I didn't know what I was doing. Like, I didn't know how much it was going to take me to do that. I didn't even know what the end result was going to be. But I know 
that I could not have done it if I was not as organized as I was. And that is thanks to Meister Task. I am not sponsored by Meister Task. Like I said, I've invested in it. I used this platform since April. I now have so many people connected to it. It's very much like a sauna. It's very easy for me to, to build off of. It also has Meister Note where you can take notes. So instead of like clicking to go into Google Drive, you can add notes there. It also has MindMeister. I love this because there were so many mind maps. I love mind maps and teaching. I just shared this with someone, a vision that I had for our school. And this person was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. So I loved being able to share that. It was a beautiful mind map. It was a digital mind map. That's meistertask.com. I had been listening to someone about it for a couple years. I can't believe that I waited that long. I didn't even realize that I needed it. I finally utilized it. I utilize it also for my house. I have our affiliate link down below. You can click it. You will get a percentage off. And I would super, super, super recommend that you make sure that you have a project management system. Number two, I definitely recommend Monarch Money. Monarch Money is a platform that I use to connect all of our bank accounts, personal and business, my husband's business, my business, and our personal we connect them all into one platform. It did take me a while to learn it. I purchased it back in January of 2023. It is now December of 2024. And I will say that I've used it every single month. It has made reporting so much easier. I no longer use QuickBooks. QuickBooks was only used for invoicing for our business. I'll share my next invoicing tool with you in just a moment. But honestly, Monarch Money is so beautiful. It tags so many different pieces of information. I can't do it justice. You would honestly have to go in and look at it for yourself. If you're looking for a program or a platform that connects all of your bank accounts, you can get a really clear how much money is coming in, not just with you, but with your spouse, how much money is going out, how much money is coming into your business, how much is going up, profit and loss. I utilized Monarch Money to help get everything into shape. It helped me tremendously with my taxes and it helped me as I'm meeting with my financial coach. We always go into Monarch Money. Now, my financial coach is not affiliated with Monarch Money. I just take all the reports and the information and I present it to him and he helps me make even better decisions based off of all the information that is compiled automatically through Monarch Money. It is very fair very, very fair and honest of me to tell you that all of what I'm going to be teaching you in the first three, which is Meister Task, Monarch Money, and the third item that I'm going to share with you, all of this takes time. All of it takes time to learn at first, but it will save you a lot of time in the back end. And there is also a lot of support tutorials, things on YouTube that you can watch. But I definitely want to say that this is not just, okay, you purchase the plan, you get the discount code, that's awesome, and then all of a sudden, boom, everything's changed. It does take some time. But I want to tell you that if you put it in at the beginning, it will pay off literally thousands of dollars later, honest to God, thousands of dollars later that you will save through investing in these products for 70 bucks a month, less than... Honestly, guys, less than $10 a month, not even that, $5 a month for some programs to save yourself so much energy and time. It's so worth it. Monarch Money, I've talked about it before. This is the first time that I'm giving my referral code for it. That is down below as well. Number three is our invoicing system. And we used Omela this year. Omela is free. Omela has a lot of really great features. Omela has incredible customer support. We have used Omela since June of 2023, and it is now December of 2023. We have worked very closely with a great assistant named Tiffany, who has literally been creating things for us as things come across the table, such as we need a dashboard, we need a reporting system, because this is a newer system that is made by Brett Kopf, and he is an extraordinary gentleman who also made Remind 101, which is also a great app that you'll want to use if you're communicating with a lot of people, especially in school. But I will definitely say that Omela has saved so much bandwidth. I used to use QuickBooks, not anymore. Omela is really great, but I want to tell you this. 
You still need an accounting software if you're going to use Omela. It's not going to tell you your profit, your loss. It's not going to tell you. It's not going to tag transactions. That's why you need another platform like Monarch Money. So you want to invoice and you want to avoid all the penalties and the fees. You want to use Omela. But you can't just stop at Omela. You're going to have to utilize another platform to track all your profit and losses. You know, I just talked with such as Monarch Money. I just talked with the pastor of the church that we rent from, and he was telling us, telling me that he used to use QuickBooks years ago. And I've talked to you guys about QuickBooks before. And I said, I don't use that anymore. And he said, I don't either. He said, it was very, very hard to use. It took up way too much time. And I attest to that as well. So I prefer using Monarch Money because I can use this for my business and my personal. I may one day separate it. Now again, remember, these are accounting services. I can look at my business separately. I can look at my personal separately. But all together, I like having in one platform right now. I think eventually I may get two to separate platforms, like one for Monarch Money for my personal, maybe something different, which I've got some ideas for my business. But as of right now, I need to look at everything as a whole and I use Monarch Money to pull all of it together. I teach this to my students whenever I do one-on-one -on -one coaching because I know that all of this can feel very tricky. It can feel a little overwhelming, like what do I use, what do I use? But I'm telling you that these have been total game changers, total game changers, especially as we've grown and scaled our school. So I have linked our referral code for Omela for free invoicing. And I'll give me give you my top three again. These are these do have referral codes. The rest of them do not. So number one is Meister Task. That's for your project management, your daily, your weekly, your monthly, your yearly planning and documents and brainstorming and visionary work. The second one is Monarch Money to keep you organized with your money, personal and business. And it's an accounting software. Number three is Omela, which is invoicing for free. But you'll also, like I said, need a dashboard and a software or a platform that pulls in all of your profit and loss, which like I said, is Monarch Money. So those are our top three. All of the referral links are down below. You can also ask me in, our, in my group about it in our Facebook group, Teacher Let Your Light Shine Micro School Community. I'd be happy to answer and clarify any more questions. Number four, I definitely recommend that you invest in a coach or courses for 2024. I hope that you are putting aside a budget to advance your life, to advance your vision. I have hired so many people this year, and I can tell you that I cannot imagine what our school would be like without any of them. They are so imperative to our success and to our growth, and I also want you to know this. Yes, I have had to pay for this up front, but I will tell you right now that the coach that I hired to help me with my finances, he's an overall life coach and a financial advisor. The very first month that I utilized his services, I began saving $3,000 a month. I promise you that's how much it saved my life. $3,000. I got it on a spreadsheet. I got it on the numbers. And not just because of the financial part, just a lot with my thinking. When you're growing, your brain isn't always being able to keep up with all the physical growth that's going on. You see that, right? You see middle schoolers, you see high schoolers, and their bodies are really grown like adults, but their brains are not. That's what happens. When your business starts to grow, when you start to make these changes in life, your body, the physical environment starts changing, but your brain isn't always there. And because I have invested when I didn't want to, my husband found him. His name's Varun, Coach Varun, on Fiverr. And that literally helped change my life. So I give him so much credit and I tell him he's going to have to come on the podcast. He's going to have to give you girls some coaching. And until then, I'm taking what I've learned from him and coaching you through it, especially during one-on-one -on -one coaching. Number five, speaking of hiring, I want to share with you again. This was so important. The very first person I hired was an assistant in my house. The second person was a digital manager for Teacher Let Your Light Shine. The third hire was another assistant in my house. The fourth hire was my coach, Coach Varun. I hired him. My fifth hire was a teacher. My sixth hire, a teacher. My seventh hire, an assistant. My eighth hire, an admin assistant. My ninth hire, another admin assistant. My tenth hire is not really a hire. It is a hire. 
but it's a trading of services. A beautiful mother coming in who's helping design our curriculum, helping us create scope and sequences for the next year, 2024, 2025. She is sending her sons to our school. She's also teaching in the afternoon and she's building out curriculums and lesson plans for us in exchange for her sons coming to school here part-time. So beautiful. So amazing. I've never been really able to do the trading of services yet, but I'm really excited for this year to be able to do that. So hiring was definitely one of the greatest decisions that I made this year and yielded us incredible results. Number six, huh, moving. Yes, my friends. I told you I just loved my little quaint home and how I could have all the kids in my house and I could teach in my socks. And you know what? I can still teach in my socks. I'm just doing it someplace different. Moving was such a beautiful escape, I would say, for our school being in our house. Three years of school was in our house. I'm so grateful for it. You know, I, if you go back to years ago, I was like, I love it here. I don't ever want to go anywhere. I don't want a big building. And now we're in a building. And I'm telling you, it was a great, great move for us. It was time. Even though I didn't think it would ever be time, it was time. And so I'm so grateful that we've invested in moving into a bigger location. I'm grateful to get in my car and drive. I really love working from home, but I love working in a community. It really made a difference after years of being alone, teaching alone. Yes, we had our Teacher Light Your Light Shine community. Yes, I had people coming to my house, but God was just getting me to a different level. And that doesn't mean he's not getting you to a different level. That means that when it's your time to level up, it'll be your time, my friend. And you may say, I don't want it. I don't want it to be my time. I want to stay right where I am. Well, I did too. I kind of came in kicking and screaming a lot of times, but I'm so grateful that we moved into this location. I told you guys, you guys are seeing me in real time. I've got scars. I've got scabs, but I've got successes. I've got stars. I got a lot more stars than I do scars and scabs, my friends. Number seven, something that really made a difference this year was tons of planning. Tons and tons of planning. I could not have planned without hiring people to take over for me so that I could plan. And that was early on in my house in 2023 in January when I had two teachers there, a teacher and an assistant. Well, actually two two teacher assistants. I went into my bedroom. It wasn't pretty. I didn't like having my office in my bedroom, but I went in there and I'm telling you the things that came out of those moments of me shutting my door, it was so hard to hear all the things that were going on out there and I needed to go out there. I wanted to be out there, but I made myself sit and plan and that made the greatest contributing factor to success. So please schedule time to plan. I know you think you can't. I do it all the time. I'm like, I can't, I can't, I can't. But Fridays are really great days for me. And even Mondays, I try to make sure that I give time to plan and a chunk of block, a block, a chunk of time on Thursdays as well. So I put it in my, I put it in my calendar. Number eight, huge factor this year that I had to make time for that I had to plan were open houses. We had one big open house prior to school starting was a big push right before, a couple days before school. It was last minute, but I still planned it out. We still pulled it off and we enrolled additional students just a couple days before school. We had an open house at the beginning of school back in September, which was super helpful for all of our families who were already currently enrolled, but also I did invite it out to the community, but it was really good because there was one family who was interested. I went ahead and invited them to open house and they signed up. And then we also have tours that we give families as well. We have open houses planned for next year as well, which we're super excited about. And I think that that is a major contributing factor to success. Number nine is marketing. I totally got on my marketing game this year and not just on Facebook, email marketing. I tell you what, I get excited about email marketing now when I used to not even know a clue about it. I've got it down to a pat, to a science. I got a little couple secrets up my sleeve that are helping to keep us in the loop with families. I just had a coaching session today and she, the beautiful teacher that I was coaching was like, how do I get people's questions answered about next year when I'm just focused on next month. And I said, do you have an email list yet? And she said, no. And I explained the importance of it. And she's like, that makes sense. I give them what I have now and I tell them, I'll put you on my email list so that you will be first to know of all of the great changes and upcoming events that are happening for the 
school year in 2024. Very, very imperative. Marketing has become so fun for me. So, so fun. So email marketing, open houses, Facebook marketing. I'm just really falling in love with it. And number 10, SOPs, baby. Standard operating procedures. You better believe when I had this school in my house, I did not have any SOPs. But now that we got it in a building, I have standard operating procedures. Kids know what their tasks are at the end of the day for cleaning. They got checkoff sheets. They've got markers attached to the checkoff sheets. It is awesome. And I have standard operating procedures for our teachers as well. And it's something that I've just been slowly, continually building. And I'm very, very grateful to have them in place because it's made a huge, massive difference in how we operate. That's my top 10, my friends. I hope that they serve you so well. Pick at least one to two to start off with and let us know how it's going. And of course, ask all the questions in our Facebook group, which is Teacher Layer Lightshine Micro School Community. Hey, hey, teacher friend. Thanks so much for listening to today's show. I pray it inspired you, touched you, or challenged you in some way because we are making big shifts and using our teaching gifts for God's glory like never before. I'm so grateful for you. The number one way you can support this show is to leave a written review on Apple Podcasts and also share this with another teacher. Come join me in the Virtual Teachers Lounge known as the Teacher Let Your Light Shine Facebook group. Until next time, keep shining your teacher light. The world needs you.